how to identify multicollinearity. So we've already done this, but let's make it as a separate recording. That is one, in case if we find out that individual coefficients are insignificant. Individual coefficients are insignificant, but jointly they are significant then this is the problem of multicollinearity that is when p statistics when you find in the model that p statistics are low and f statistics is high, it should be f statistic is high, then this is the indication of multicollinearity. So now, if you see this problem anywhere, then this is a definite and this is most probably caused by multicollinearity. Okay. Next is, you run the correlation, that is pairwise correlation. among variables you run the pairwise correlation among variables and if you find that that those are very high then again this could be the sign of multicollinearity and the last one is that if regression coefficients are significantly altered huh? when variables are added or dropped then again, this is the sign of multicollinearity, okay? So if you find this, that individually coefficients are insignificant, but jointly they are significant, this is the sign of multicollinearity. If you find that the pairwise correlation among the variables is high, this is the sign of multicollinearity. If you find that, that if you are dropping some of the variables and the regression coefficients, they are, they are significantly altered, then again, this is the sign of multicollinearity.